sitting here today with uh, Gary Schwartz and uh, Sanjaya Krishna, who are the uh, chairman and the vice chairman of uh, MEF Americas, MEF North America. Welcome, guys. Thank you for doing this. Thank you, Thank you very much. So we are uh, just wrapping up the conference, the 2011 version of the conference. Uh, give me your perception, uh, your opinion about how things have gone. Gary? Well, what's exciting is, is it's, it's 2011. We started this in, in 2010 as a mandate to bring North and South, South America together in, in one you know, uh, a hub that we would be able to deal with monetization issues and, and drive business and, and, and drive transactions for our member companies. And, and it has just grown. Uh, last year was a fantastic launch year. Uh, this year we've, we've doubled in size. Doubled in size and everything. And the speaker quality has been incredible. Yeah, well. speaker yeah. quality is amazing. Uh, and and, and uh, the, the depth, depth of the conference, not just from, from the content that's on the stage, but also the networking ability yeah. um, off stage near the pool. <laughs> a lot of, lot of uh, good uh, commentary about the networking opportunities. I know that there was a nice meeting between some North American and Latin American carriers that was eye-opening for both of them. And um, yeah, the, the content of the conference was, uh, was very good. Um, I think that uh, it's going to be a, a, a challenge has been laid down for us for next year in terms of uh, keeping this momentum going and having the, uh, having the conference grow further. But I think the fact that we're focused on so much now as on, on commerce in addition to content, I think we had a good balance of it. I mean, the way we structured it was to have content the first day, commerce the second day. I think it held people's attention for the most part. And, uh, you know, I think that uh, next year we'll, uh, we'll have uh, probably, who knows what's going to develop, right? It's a fast-moving space. Probably some topic that was not even touched this year that's going to be like a hot one for next year. No, absolutely. What was it about the conference that, <clears throat> certainly, was there anything of a surprise to you guys that you kind of, you sat back and you looked at and said that, or, or that you were just sat back and you thought, oh, man, I'm so impressed. So impressed that we did this. <laughs> yeah, well, anyway, surviving you know, aside. Uh, surviving aside. <laughs> <laughs> no, you know what, uh, the... The, uh, when we started uh, pre-conference uh, uh, back in uh, 2010, uh, you know, our, our mandate was to, to drive uh, our, our global agenda, which was you know, monetization for our companies, understanding how to drive uh, M-commerce uh, as a global strategy uh, for our companies uh, so that we could take content and we could couple it with, with uh, commerce channels to, 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 to sell more stuff. Uh, whether that be digital, virtual, or uh, physical, and what's happened is is uh, and and this conference has been a manifestation of that is the industry has really embraced that message, and uh, so um, last year was fantastic. We talked about all this stuff. This year we've taken a deep dive into content and how uh, you know what are the, the the commerce implications, and then a deep dive into payment and and commerce because. The, there is no question that, that it, whether it be in North America or Latin America, these are the issues that the, that the ecosystem are dealing with. They're trying to understand how the evolution of the screens is affecting the, the distribution of content. The evolution of the wallet is uh, affecting the whole ecosystem and everything is going into virtual relationship. MEF is one of the only organizations that can really address that because of our breadth of membership. Across, not just in North America, but across, around the world. The Absolutely. Absolutely. I mean, we had some great content from Latin America. And again, when in certain things, and talking about like payment remittances and challenges specifically around mobile for prepaid, you have a lot of advanced thinking in Latin America that we can learn from. Certainly. And, and that's that like cross-pollination, which yeah. is so amazing. Uh, the, you know, uh, unlike events that are very regionally focused, this brings learning from North America down to Latin America and Latin America up. And what you have to understand is that North America is advancing a lot of new payment models. Latin America is dealing with a lot of existing payment systems. Uh, in Latin America, there's the, the whole impact of the unbanked, which we have as a real concern here in North America. Sure. And that, you know, to go, go to kind of what were a couple of the surprising things, I thought that the keynote address that we had from Sprint, really talking about the unbanked issue unbanked. in the United, the United States, States of America, because I think we tend to be someone, I know Gar Gary's from Canada, so I won't put this on him, but we tend to in the United States be a little bit, you know, kind of, well, the unbanked, that's, that's over there in the developing world. But, you know, we have a serious opportunity as well as maybe even a responsibility mm -hmm. to, to help serve these people, and mobile technology is, is, is doing that. So Absolutely. Per the other thing that surprised me uh, very pleasantly, and this also speaks again to the breadth and the, the expanding breadth of the MEF membership is the, uh, the keynote speech that Tom from Coke did. Yeah. That was fantastic. I mean, that was great content. I mean, I think if there's one thing that people kind of took away, like hearing a guy who actually had been doing this for a long time, representing a brand, and really just kind of laying out a very structured story of how they do things 
not saying that they do it perfectly. I mean, the thing is, he wasn't thumping his chest. He was quite humble about it. But I mean, it was a very, uh, you know, if, if we had a, a videotape of that, that we could get the clearance to actually put up on the MEF site, I would love to do that. But, but Coke, Coke is a poster child for MEF, right? Coke is a global member. Uh, uh, actually, Tom Daly sits on the global board. And they have a global agenda. It's not regional. They have regional right. focuses. Right. But they need to understand how uh, learning in one region affects the other region. They need to understand how they can uh, sell more product. And, and the whole idea with the uh, Tom's keynote was, look, we need a partnership that allows us to understand how to monetize these channels more effectively. Mm -hmm. and, and we can certainly learn from them, too. Yeah. I mean, the, you know, the number one most valuable brand in the world. No, absolutely. And, well, that's, uh, have been doing it. And, and that's where uh, MEF is so powerful because in this value chain, all of these different members are bringing value and there's this cross-pollination at the event which allows people to learn from each other, which drives things ahead. And you have this annual learning event where people come, share knowledge, go off, grow their business, come back, come back to Miami. <laughs> That's a, the key is coming back to Miami. Coming back to Miami. Yeah. Key, listen, it's, it's, it's not a hard sell. I, no, I it that. isn't. Sanjay, what about the numbers? You, you, uh, you guys put out some, uh, some numbers, the release of a survey? One yeah, year? we did a uh, global consumer survey, uh, covered about um, 15 or so countries um, across the world. Uh, I think it was about 8,400 8, respondents, and it was really getting to the, you know, it's focused on mobile commerce, and it was really... Um, are people buying? Mm -hmm. What are they buying? How are they buying it? Why are they buying it? And also, very clearly, why are they not buying it? So that was kind of the set of questions we asked them. We got some great, great kind of reconnaissance. Some stuff that was maybe you know not what you might expect. I mean, I was actually quite surprised to see that like one of the second largest reasons that people didn't buy things that they, they were like, I got no need. Uh, and I think <laughs> that uh, you know, and but I, I mean, that speaks to. Uh, understanding what channels work effectively for mobile, sure. right? Uh, and and, uh, and 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 uh, you know, there there are specific channels that work uh, for certain goods in certain uh, buying uh, situations, yeah. and and that's that's part of the battle of understanding what we. And so the, the global survey really spoke back to our uh, initiatives within within MEF and and reinforced really the direction we're going. Where you know yeah. the the two key pillars as as, as Sanjay. Uh, um, illuminates today was, you know, trust and convenience, trust being the barrier to adoption. Mm -hmm. Right, you know, security people, concerns yeah. was still, yeah. for Privacy, most countries, yeah. the number one reason yeah. they do not buy. Yeah. Yeah. And, and convenience being, being the, the one thing that's going to drive adoption. And that's the, the two pillars that we're working on globally in, in, in driving our uh, initiatives within the M-Commerce bucket. Oh, I can't wait to see what next year looks like. <laughs> yeah, hopefully we'll be back, but I can't wait to see what 2012 looks like. We will be back. 400, 500 people. Well, we will so. be back. It is growing and it's yeah. exciting. And, 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 and the thing is, it's not just the events growing, it's a momentum around the, the content and the initiatives that we're driving globally that's growing at the same time. So yeah. it's a commensurate growth. It's pretty exciting. Yeah. Gentlemen, thank you so much for being here. I really appreciate thank it. You thank you. Thank you.